Week three of the Aviva Premiership saw the intensity of competition raise another notch. This time, 29 tries in the round with Quinns, Tigers and Saris claiming the try bonus point. Saracen seem to be the team to topple as they remain the only unbeaten side and have a maximum 15 points from the three games. An epic yet slightly controversial game at Kingsholm saw Jim Mallinder and Nigel Davis lock horns in the match of the round. London Wasps and Worcester Warriors remain winless while London Irish lose at home for the first time since December. Worcester Warriors slump to their third successive defeat of the season at the hands of Harlequins. A dry six ways played into the hands of the visitors who were able to throw the ball around and wrapped up the try bonus point with a Mike Brown try on 48 minutes. Danny Kerr, Joe Marler and Rob Buchanan also crossed in the 37-13 win that sees the Warriors rooted to the bottom of the table. London Wasps remain the other team without a win this term. Again, it was frustration for Di Young's men who lost by four points for the second week in a row, as Andy Goode missed the late conversion to give Wasps the lead before Danny Cipriani capped a 21-point performance with a penalty at the end to give Sale Sharks a 26-22 win at the AJ Bell Stadium. Leicester Tigers bounced back from their loss at Bath to brush aside Newcastle Falcons at Welford Road. There was no sympathy for visiting director of rugby and Tigers legend Dean Richards or his side in the five-try 31-6 win, as many returning England stars put their stamp on the game. Notably Manu Tuilagi, who bulldozed through countless tackles to set up a Graham Kitchener try. Jordan Crane, Dan Bowden, Blaine Scully and Thomas Waldron also crossed in the bonus point win. Exeter Chiefs travelled to the Majeski Stadium with sights set on a fourth consecutive Aviva Premiership win against London Irish. But it was the Exiles who controlled a majority of the game, with Marlon Yard crossing for his fourth try of the season in the process. But despite a 13-point lead with just over 20 minutes to go, the visitors steamed through with tries from skipper Dean Mum and Ben White to take the spoils 29-23. The final Saturday game was a mouth-watering affair at King's home, with Northampton Saints, the unbeaten visitors, to Gloucester still without a win. And it lived up to expectation. End-to-end -end rugby and tries galore, including what would go down as one of the tries of the season. Started by George North, finished by Jamie Elliott, and converted by Stephen Myler to give Saints a 24-23 lead with less than a minute to go. But a controversial Billy 12 trees penalty with the last kick of the game gave Nigel Davis that elusive first win, but heartbreak for Jim Mallander. Lots of things that we need to work on. Uh, I thought we were poor getting out of our own half in particular. We conceded some points there. Um, lots of things that we need to work on. Uh, scored a cracking try to come back into it. Shame that it ended up as it did uh, at the end, but um, that's life and sometimes you can't affect things like that. You've got to just look at your performance and that's what we've got to do. On Sunday, two unbeaten teams matched up at Allianz Park. Bath had overcome Champions Tigers the previous week, while Saris had mauled Gloucester, and the host picked up where they left off, sealing the try bonus point in the first half. David Stretter with his third and fourth tries of the season to keep pace with Yard. George Ford came off the bench in the second half as the visitors scored 14 unanswered points, but the damage was already done, and Saracens maintained their perfect start with a 31-17 win. So after round three, Saracens sit proudly at the top of the pile in a very familiar looking first four. Steve Diamond, Sales stay fifth. Bath, Irish, Falcons, Wasps and Warriors all drop while Exeter and Gloucester are the only other risers in a very tight looking table. But with 19 rounds still to go, there are bound to be many more twists and turns in one of the most exciting leagues in the world. To catch up on all the interviews, features, highlights and full match replays from all the weekend's games, log on today at www.premiershiprugby.tv.